योर क्वेश्चन इज द कव वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस बी बाई एक्स स्क्वायर हैज अ स्टेशनरी पॉइंट टू कॉमा ट्वेल्व फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी सेकेंड इज डिटरमाइन द नेचर ऑफ स्टेशनरी पॉइंट फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ एक्स फॉर विच ए एक्स प्लस बी बाई एक्स स्क्वायर इज इंक्रीजिंग तो नाउ वॉट दे हैव गिवेन दैट वी विल राइट फर्स्ट द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट दे हैव गिवेन यू वाई इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स प्लस बी एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस टू वील ब्रिंग टू न्यूब्रेट नाउ तो यर दे हैव गिवेन स्टेशनरी पॉइंट दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट वाई डैश तो ना वाई डैश इज इज इक्वल टू ए बी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स प्लस बी डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस टू नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस तो यर इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट यू विल गेट ए एंड यर यू विल गेट माइनस टू बी एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री नाउ वी विल रीराइट इट हाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू वी कैन से ए माइनस टू बी बाई एक्स क्यू दिस इज योर वाई डैश Now, here what we have to do? How we will get a and b? Here they have given the stationary point that is two. That we will substitute. Stationary point we will get after we will take this as zero. This as zero. Now take the LCM. LCM is x cube. Here you will get a x cube minus two b that is equal to zero. Cross multiply this value will go out. X cube will go out. Now substitute this two in place of x. So here we will get a t minus two b that is equal to zero. so you can see if you bring this to this side what it will be it will be a t is equal to 2 b this and this will go by 4 so we can say 4 a is equal to b we got that now substitute this value where we will substitute here yeah. By taking twelve point, so here y is twelve. That is equal to a. So here we will take a into two is two a plus here it is b. So b we will take it as four a by x cube. That is Uh, x square that is four. So this and this will go out. So now you will get twelve is equal to three a. Therefore a is equal to four. So we got the value a is four. Hmm? Next. Now this a value we will substitute here. What we will get? So here we will get a. Is four into x cube. X cube is two cube. That is eight minus two b. That is equal to zero. So this is thirty two. So we will get minus two b is equal to minus thirty two. Minus n minus gone. So b is equal to thirty two by two is sixteen. So we got b as sixteen. Next, determine the nature of stationary point. What is the nature? So how we will find it out? We will go for double differentiation of that. So we can go for that. 
ओके तो यर दिस इज योर फर्स्ट डिफरेंशिएशन तो नाउ वी विल रीराइट इट एज दिस वैल्यू तो वी विल गो फॉर वाई डबल डैश वाई डबल डैश इज इक्वल टू ए डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ जीरो माइनस टू बी डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री If you solve this, you will get zero. Therefore, you will get this value. What is that? Minus three into minus is plus. So we will get six b and x to the power of four. Now substitute here all the values. What we know. So here six b six into sixteen. By x to the power of four, that means two to the power of four is again sixteen. Sixteen and sixteen gone. So we got six. That is greater than zero. So we will get a minimum point. Minimum. Now. Third question is your find the range of x for which a x plus b by x square is increasing. How we will get it? So we know that y dash is this value. So what? Just we will write y dash is equal to a minus two b by x cube by x cube. Now substitute a and b here. So here we will get a is four minus two b. Two into sixteen is thirty two by x cube. This we will got get it. Here they have told us that it is increasing, and they have given the stationary point as two comma twelve. So we will take two. Two. So we will draw a number line here. This is your two. Now, here it should be. We will take this point as three, and this is infinity. This is minus infinity. Now substitute these points, and at the same time, x also they have given two. So two cube is eight. So we can say now four minus thirty two by eight. That is again four. Four minus four is zero. So now we can say y dash is zero. And they have told us that is increasing. That means it should be greater than zero. So now we can say that y dash it should be greater than zero. We should get it. Then only. That range we have to tell it. Now, so first we will take three here, three. So three cube is twenty-seven. So four minus thirty-two by twenty-seven. So here, if you see this, this four should be always greater than this. Always. Thirty-two by twenty-seven. If you take four, thirty-two by sixty-four. So always it should be greater. That means it is increasing this side. Increasing. Hmm? Now, next here in between this we will take zero first. Zero. If you take this as zero, what happen? Four minus undefined. Four minus undefined. So we can say it is increasing only. So we can say it is increasing. That is undefined. 
not increasing, not decreasing, we can say now. Okay. Suppose we have taken here 1. 1. If you have taken 1 here, this is, will be 1. So, 4 minus 32, it is now decreasing. From here, it is decreasing now. If you take 1, it is decreasing. Hmm? Okay. So, this side, it is decreasing. We can say now, uh, 1 is decreasing. 0 is undefined. Next, we will take minus 1. Minus 1. If you take minus 1, this will be minus. Minus into minus is plus now. So, it is increasing. After 1, here it is increasing. So, that means in between 0 and 2, it is decreasing. And from 2 to infinity, it is increasing. And from here, 0 and minus infinity, again it is increasing. Hmm? So, now how we will write this? So, we can say x should be less than 0. That is minus and x should be greater than 2. Then they are increasing. Otherwise, they are decreasing. So, in between 0 to 2, they are decreasing. So, like this we have to solve it out.